And here we go. Make sure you're comfortable on the seat of your chair. Happy Friday, everybody. Got a nice weather coming up for the weekend, so this should be this should be very nice. Thanks for attending class. Let's check in with our posture and our breath. Nice posture. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Spread your toes wide, press the floor away, legs active and engaged. Strong and stable foundation with our legs. So try not to just collapse into the chair. Imagine that the chair is not even there and that you need to use your legs to remain upright. Take a big inhale and let's set the posture for our upper body. Lift up through your sternum and lift up through the crown of your head like you're being pulled up by a string. Roll your shoulders back and down. Relax your shoulders. Close and relax your eyes and begin to focus your mind on your breath, taking full, deep, and smooth breath. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Nice, slow, deep breathing. Keep sitting up nice and tall with good posture. Our posture and our breath are connected. If you have good posture, then you'll have good breathing. Seated meditation, let's take five deep breaths. Slowly finish your next breath and on your exhale, draw your belly in towards your spine and release all the air from your lungs. Open your eyes and let's get warmed up now. Nice breathing, everybody. Very nice. Okay, let's interlace our fingers and we'll start warming up our fingers, hands, wrists, and forearms. Let's trace figure eight or the infinity symbol. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Dang phones. I tell you. <laughs> One of my best friends has a farm outside of Lincoln called Infinity Farms. I always, uh, always love that name. That's a great name for a farm. They do a goat milk too, which is kind of like come, becoming a big thing now. Goat milk and then sometimes even the uh, unpasteurized raw kind of goat milk too. Okay, now on your inhale, draw your palms in towards your heart. On your exhale, press out, sit up nice and tall. Grow as tall as you can. Two more, inhale towards your heart. Exhale, press out, grow as tall as you can. Last time. And release your hands down. Inhale, circle up to shoulder level. Break at your elbows first. Exhale, float down. Yes. 
Inhale up to shoulder level, palms facing up at the ceiling. Draw your thumbs back, opening our shoulders and chest. Feel a nice stretch across the front of your body. Ooh, this looks cool. We need another person over there, really to fill it up. Take a few deep breaths. Try not to force anything. Allow your body to open and stretch naturally. Exhale, float your hands down. One more. Inhale up. Palms facing up. Small circles back with our thumbs leading the way. Judy and Carol, you look like uh, twin sisters today. Did you plan this? Absolutely. <laughs> I kind of match you. I need some orange on my shirt, though. That's impressive. Very nice. I actually have one just like hers, and I almost wore Oh, really? Oh, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> and small circles forward. Yeah, it's got pumpkins on it. Oh, yeah, that works. And exhale, float your hands down, relax your shoulders. Take a little break. Allow the blood to flow down to your fingertips. Ah, spinal cord breathing. Take a big inhale, fill your lungs with air, open your shoulders and chest, engage your back muscles for a gentle back bend. Exhale, round your upper back, draw your arms together, tuck your chin into your chest and look down. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Bending our spine one way and then the other. Spinal cord breathing, breathing health and longevity into our spine. your hands down. Inhale, circle up to shoulder level. Exhale, break at your elbows first. Float your hands down. Relax. Yes. Inhale, float up. Let's alternate between palms and fists. Another person coming in? No, nope, false alarm. <laughs> they made it through that first door and then they were like, no. Nope. Not going to go through that second door. <laughs> and circle your hands one direction. Other direction. And exhale, float your hands down, relax. Woo! Take a little break. Oh, our, our new fall schedule is going to be up in a few days. It'll probably be up on Monday. Might even be up right now. I didn't check. But we have a ton of new classes. A lot of new uh, beginners yoga classes. I think there's one called Mindful Beginners Yoga, which is like they're accessible for everybody, you know? So. Uh, check the schedule. There might be some more classes that you're you're interested in. No, no, this stays the same. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, okay, inhale, lift both hands up, place your hands together, and exhale down the midline of your body. Release your hands. Inhale up, hands together. And exhale down. Three more repetitions.
Now release your hands and inhale up, fingertips touch, open, and exhale down. Relax your shoulders, inhale up, fingertips touch, open, and exhale down. Let's go for three more repetitions. As your hands drop, scoot forward a little bit on the seat of your chair. And same movement, except we're going to add our swan dive. Forward fold. Inhale up. Fingertips touch. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Relax your head, neck, shoulders, and upper back. Place your hands on your legs, inhale, rising, press the floor away, toes spread wide, roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, let's work our legs, scoot back on the seat of your chair, let's start on our heels, 10 repetitions, leg extensions, inhale, lift, engage your quads and engage your abs, exhale, down. Nine more. Two, and let's hold this next one. One, engage your quads, engage your abs. Sit up nice and tall, and then circle your feet. One direction. And then exhale, float your feet down, relax, scoot forward on the seat of your chair, 20 repetitions of hip openings, I'm going to change it up, let's start with the left leg first, so starting with the left leg first, here we go, one, two, oh, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Return, take a little break. <clears throat> And then remain up on the seat of your chair. And let's heel toe it out a little bit. And we'll take our goddess stance from Ashtanga Yoga. Opening our ankles, feet and toes going out. Open your knees. The same uh, direction your feet and toes are going. That's where your thigh and your knee should be going. So sure. keep everything open. Hips open. Draw your belly in. Tuck and curl under your tailbone. Lifting up from here and here. All the good stuff, right? Cardio punches. <clears throat> Punching out from your heart. Try to work up until you're going as fast as you can. Keep your toes spread wide, strong foundation. And let's get it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, heel toe it in. Relax, relax. Now let's go for our gentle Qigong style punches. 
Inhale, draw your fists into your sides. Exhale, punch with your right fist. Turn your fist over, strike with the two large knuckles. Straight line, straight line, and straight line. The other fist is drawn in. Inhale, open and pull, like you're pulling someone into you. Exhale, punch with your left. Turn your fist over, strike with the two large knuckles. Nice, everybody. Inhale, open, and pull. Exhale, punch with your right. Inhale, open, and pull. Exhale, punch with your left. Inhale, open, and pull. Let's keep it going. And exhale, press your palms down into the earth. Inhale up, turn your palms to face down, gather the energy, exhale, press it down. As your hands drop, heel toe it out, and let's return to our goddess stance. Now power punches, kind of like a belt and pulley system. Everyone's foundation is looking good. Oh, badass, everybody. Yes. Very nice, strong stances. Holy smokes, what's going on today? <laughs> no, I'm just joking, everybody always looks good. Nice warrior ones too, I noticed last class, uh, which was Wednesday, right? Nice warrior ones, and then we had that new student that was right in the middle, that was cool. Okay, inhale, draw both fists into your sides. Exhale, punch with your right. Same thing, turn your fist over. Now, it's a pull and punch. Pull and punch, pull and punch, pull and punch. Now go as hard as you can. Exhale on your punches. As hard as you can. Let's go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ooh, heel toe it in and relax. Ah, take a deep breath. Cross your left leg over your right leg for seated pigeon pose. You can either cross up here or down here and twist whatever's right for you. <clears throat> uh oh, oh, I'm tight this morning. I'm gonna have to be careful. Everyone, <laughs> be careful. Inhale, lengthen your spine, get ready, exhale, fold forward and down. Five deep breaths.
Exhale, release your left leg and down. Allow your blood to flow down to the tips of your toes. Let's hit the other side. <clears throat> Cross your right leg over your left leg. For seated pigeon pose, inhale and lengthen your spine. Set it up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Five deep breaths. Exhale, release your right leg down, allow your blood to flow. Take a little break, <clears throat> make sure you've got warmth and blood flow in your legs. And now let's kick it up a notch. I'm gonna mirror you, swivel around to the left side of your chair, place your left foot forward and your right foot back. <clears throat> Foundation first, strong and stable. Press the floor away, legs active and engaged. Imagine your chair's not even there. Hands at your heart for three deep breaths. Crescent moon pose. chair. Place your left foot forward and your right foot back. <clears throat> Inhale, lift both hands up and lengthen your spine. Get ready. Exhale, revolved spinal twist. Relax your shoulders. Yeah, you got it. Twisting up and over the, the front leg. Exhale, release, swivel around to the other side of your chair, right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale, lift both hands up and lengthen your spine. Get ready. Exhale, revolve the spinal twist. Relax your shoulders. Hey. 
meet back, front and center. Take a little break. Woo. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone ready to stand up? Let's do some standing work. Feel free to adjust your chair. Make sure you have enough room behind you. The traditional way Warrior One is taught is to line up the heels. I don't like that. It's not very accessible for most people, um, or at least it's not for me because my spine's all messed up. So I've always taken a small step out, and I've found that it's much easier than to shift your weight forward, placing your right knee above your ankle, and then squaring your hips and shoulders, okay? Hands here, here, or here, or even here for Warrior One. Everybody, release and step forward. Left foot forward, right foot back. Other side. Foundation first, strong and stable. Hands here, here, or here.
tennis balls, one tennis ball per person. You know it's Friday if I the tennis balls are coming out. So one tennis ball per person. And then after we're done with these, just kind of leave them off to the side. You know, I'll let them back in class so we don't waste any more time. See the thought of a rattlesnake hiding in here. <laughs> okay, uh, so place it under whatever foot you want to start with. And I would, well, you don't have to, but I would recommend using the chair as support. And let's do some uh, self massage, myofascial release on the soles of our feet. Always neglecting our feet. There's a lot of bones, tiny bones, tendons, ligaments, connective tissue down here, bunch of stuff, bunch of nerve endings, and people tend to always get tight down here and sometimes even get cramps. If you ever had a really bad cramp in the sole of your foot, oh, it's not fun. So this is a great way to prevent that. And for whatever reason, if you think the tennis ball is too soft, you can use you know, a lacrosse ball or a, or a baseball. I actually use a baseball when I'm at home. <laughs> or maybe a softball, you know, it's got a larger, uh, oh man, it's been a while since geometry, what would that be called? Circumference. Circumference, thank you, yes. Larger circumference. <laughs> Diameter, <laughs> radius, <laughs> pi. Pi r squared. Yeah. Oh, good. That's, that's uh, radius, right? Or pi r squared. Shape. <laughs> now, if you really want to go for it, position the tennis ball in the middle of your foot and just like stand on it. And that will give you a significant amount of pressure. Let's switch to our other foot now. Let's switch to our other foot. I think I'm going to break this tennis ball. <laughs> I'm really pressing hard into this thing. Other foot. And massage the sole of your other foot. I know it really feels good. Especially since I teach so many... Uh, yoga classes here, you really got to maintain your feet, the health of your feet. It's where all the body weight finally meets the floor. And a lot of yoga poses, especially the standing ones, are a little bit crazy. So your upper body is doing all this crazy contortions and twisting, but your foundation has to remain strong and stable so you don't fall over. Your feet have to work extremely hard. And stand on it if you want to. Grand finale. And then release. Woo. All right, get that tennis ball out of the way. And we'll go back to the seated position. Seated position, everybody. Okay, let's do a Qigong from now to the end of class, and then we'll end with energy work and seated meditation. Let's do a traditional Qigong form called Ba Duan Jin, the eight pieces of brocade. We start here with our palms facing in at our belly. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Same thing, now palms facing up. Touch the tips of your middle fingers together. One more deep breath here. Inhale, interlace your fingers and lift up. 
Flip the palms of your hands to face up and press up. Look up if you can, stretch up, look forward, relax your shoulders, exhale, release your hands down. This first movement is called hands hold up the heavens. Inhale up, flip, press up, stretch up, look forward, exhale, relax. Interlace your fingers, inhale up, and press up, stretch up, look forward, exhale, release. Let's keep this movement going. Inhale, and exhale. Last repetition, and then the next movement we're going to do is called draw the bow and shoot the arrow. So just give me one second to turn around so that I don't have to mirror you on this next movement. It's just way too confusing for me. I get confused easily, so <laughs> it's just easier for me to turn around. So we just finished floating our hands down. We're gonna go this way first. So cross at your wrists. Your left hand crosses in front. Inhale, draw the bow. Use your back muscles. Exhale, release. Float your hands down. Now we must hit the other side going this way. Cross your wrists, right hand in front. Inhale, draw the bow. Exhale, release your hands down. Cross your wrists, left hand in front. Inhale, draw the bow. Exhale, release. Other side, cross at your wrists, right hand in front. Inhale, draw the bow. Exhale, float your hands down. Let's keep this movement going. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Turn around again. Next movement is called hands separate heaven from the earth. So we just uh, floated our hands down after shooting the arrow. Now our palms meet again. 
at lower Dantian, touch the tips of our thumbs together, and this is our starting position for this next move. So inhale your right hand up and your left hand down. Lengthen your spine, have a nice stretch. Exhale and return to the starting position, nice and slow. Other side, inhale your left hand up, right hand down. Exhale, release, and return. Let's keep this movement going. Go at your own pace and follow your breath. Return to the starting position. Same starting position. Next movement, the wise owl gazes backwards. Inhale, open and look to one side. It doesn't matter which side you look to first, we'll hit the other side anyways. Exhale and return to the starting position. I love this movement, it's great for your back and posture. Inhale, open, look to the other side. Exhale and return. Nice and slow with your breath. Inhale, open, and look to the other side. Exhale, return. Return to the starting position. Inhale up. Turn your palms to face down. Gather the energy. Exhale, press the energy down. Scoot forward on the seat of your chair. Heel toe it out for goddess. Remember in Qigong and Tai Chi, we end yoga, we use the same stance. Okay, so pretty cool, right? Two separate cultures develop the same um, ex exercise some of the same exercises. So this next movement is called Expelling the Heart Fire. So we just finished with the hands coming down. Our hands rest here. 
for a big inhale. And then circle your body to the left. Come across. Inhale up. And return. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. Exhale, circle down to the right this time. And then come across. Inhale, up and return. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up, get ready. Exhale, circle your upper body. Inhale, up and return. Relax your shoulders. Lift up through the crown of your head. Exhale, circle. Pouring your heart forward, expelling your heart fire. Inhale, return. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up, get ready. Exhale, circle. Pouring your heart forward. Inhale, return. And relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, circle. Inhale, return. Heel toe it in, relax your shoulders. And same transition. Inhale, both hands up. Turn your palms to face down. And exhale, down. Next movement is called strengthening the kidneys and back. Inhale, up. Turn your palms to face down and exhale down. Now at our heart level, inhale, palms face up. Wrap around to your middle back. Exhale, massage down to your toes. Palms of your hands come forward, parallel to the floor. Push the floor away, come all the way up. Rotate, exhale, down. I know this moves a little bit crazy, but let's keep it going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Rising up. Rotate. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's keep it going. Last time. All the way down on your exhale. Draw your fists in, heel toe it out. Return to goddess stance or horse rider stance, as it's called in Qigong and Tai Chi. We already did these, we're just using a different stance this time. Exhale, punch with your right. Inhale, open and pull. Exhale, punch with your left. Inhale, open and pull. Let's keep it going.
forgot the name of this one. I just drew a blank. Something like punching with an angry face. <laughs> Seriously, I think that's what it is. And you're supposed to have an angry, like really serious face because you want to use it to reduce your stress level. Get all that negative energy and emotions and poison out of your body. <sighs> Bring in that fresh, nice energy. <laughs> hey, that works. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Last punch. Exhale, press down, heel, toe it in. Ooh, last movement. Thank goodness we've made it to the eighth and final movement. Settling the chi or settling your energy down. This is for calming us down. Uh, let's just rest our hands on our thighs. Inhale, lift your heels, and then on your exhale, control to drop down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, control, drop down. So that's the settling of your energy down. Last time. Closing form, inhale, circle your hands, palms facing in. And just like we began, this is how we end one deep breath here. Yes, energy work. <clears throat> Rub your hands together, drawing warmth and energy to the palms of your hands. Good job, everybody. That's a full traditional Qigong form. Ba Duan Jin takes about 25 minutes to go through. It's no joke. That's not like a beginner's level form. You know, there's monks in the tops of mountains in China that stay in monasteries to learn that form, you know, so it's, it's very cool. It's, it's not like uh, something that's just like an introductory form to Qigong. That's some serious business. Okay, rub your hands together and then rub one arm at a time from your shoulders out to your fingertips. Rub the palms of your hands together again, drawing warmth and energy to the palms of your hands. Wrap your hands around to the back of your neck. Everybody's tied up here. Now wrap your hands around to the front of your neck. Massage your neck and throat. Float your hands down, interlace the webbing between your index fingers and thumbs, place your hands on your belly, small circles, one direction. My favorite Qigong movement of all time, good for our digestive tract, stomach and spleen. This is associated with the earth element from the full traditional Qigong form called the five elements.
Return to center, lean forward, massage your lower back and kidneys. Make sure to massage all the way down low to your sacrum and L5. Big vertebrae down here, big important nerve connections and everybody's tight down here. It's basically a bad engineering design. <laughs> a lot of people have issues with their lower back. Inhale, rising. Exhale, left empty heel step. Rub the energy down your left leg for our Qigong longevity stretch. Make sure you have warmth and blood flow and feeling in your legs. Step back and other side. Right empty heel step, rub the energy down your right leg. Step back, take a little break, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you feel good. And we're almost done. All we have to do is our final meditation. Place one hand on top of the other. We'll do Qigong Earth Element. Seated meditation posture. Touch the tips of your thumbs together and sit up nice and tall. Beautiful posture, everybody. Very nice. Close and relax your eyes and focus your mind on your breath. Taking full, deep, and smooth breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Five deep breaths here. Slowly finish your next breath and on your exhale, draw your belly in towards your spine and release all the air from your lungs. Inhale, open your eyes and slide your hands out to the sides. Exhale, slide them down and we'll end just like we began. The end. Great job, everybody. Badass job on the full Qigong form. That's how you do it. The energy work, the meditation at the end. That's